Hi Pisces, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, readings, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons of information down there. So please do go check that out, would be greatly appreciated. And just a quick shout out before we get started to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. To those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you. And hopefully we can grow this channel and your support would really help. And we can get these messages out to the people that really need to hear them. And I truly love to do it for you guys. So thank you, thank you. Okay, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. First half of September, general reading. And if you can fit this into any kind of situation in your life, then you're more than welcome to. If, it's, if you can fit it into a romantic situation or whatever have you, that's totally fine. But I will read it as a general reading. I do the um, Sagittarius keeps wanting to pop out there, so that may mean something for somebody. Um, I do the love reading separate, so okay, Pisces, September already, can you believe it? I hope everybody's doing well. All right, so let's get started. So with, ed with whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate, this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get an element, planet, or sign. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, it's like a little extra bonus. That's totally fine. Rest of the reading may be for you. If you clicked on the title, there's probably something in here for you. Wow, okay. Just one. I just want one card for Pisces. What may some of them be dealing with? Oh, Gemini. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini in some way, shape, or form around you. Or you could have Gemini in your chart, or somebody could have Gemini heavily in their chart in some way. Could be a friend, sibling, family member, a co-worker, just somebody around you. All right. If not, like I said, it's totally fine. All right, so with this deck here, let's get a main message for you. Let's get main energy for you for the first half of September. Main energy for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? The first half of September. Can we get a message for Pisces for the first half of September? Spirit, please, just one card for Pisces. These are kind of big and bulky cards, so, <laughs> all right, one card, let's do that one, look forward, okay, so, you may be moving on from something in your life here, and it's telling you to keep looking forward, to keep moving forward, keep looking forward, um, keep, you know, in like that chariot energy, positive balanced energy, moving forward, stay in a positive mindset, and just keep on going forward. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Think things through. So as you're moving forward here, make sure you're really thinking things through and don't do anything that you may regret. Um, be logical about things, but keep on moving forward and looking forward, looking forward to the future, what's ahead of you, but also think things through thoroughly also. And don't rush. So, okay, wake up call. So something could have just happened to you here, it gave you a big wake up call and said, you know, it's time to move on, to move forward. Oh, let's see what else. So, I don't know. So let's see, let me see that what is going on with you Pisces. Let's get some clarity now. So something here gave you a big wake up call. You really thought about it long and hard and decided it's time to look forward and move on and move forward in some way, shape, or form. Could be relationship, could be career. 
uh, could be even friendships, realizing there may be a friendship here that's no longer serving you. Um, could be anything. All right, so let's get some clarity now for Pisces. What is this energy all about for Pisces, the first half of September? Spirit, please, can we clarify what's going on with Pisces, the first half of September? Please, can we have one or two cards for Pisces, please, Spirit? Thank you so much. Okay, wow. So, we have Equilibrium here. 14, which is Sagittarius, this is a temperance card. And then we have the Three of Swords. So you may be moving on from a Sagittarius. Uh, this is heartbreak. This is pain. So it might have been a painful ending here with a Sagittarius now. But you're finding your balance and your peace and your harmony moving forward as you look forward and move forward, having this big up, big wake up call that uh, this pain, this hurt was too much to endure, whatever it was for you. Um, and now just really finding your inner balance, your peace, your harmony, your healing energy, healing this uh, pain and heartache and whatever it was for you. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but this is also air, the Three of Swords, which is the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could be, you know, the ending of a friendship. It could be the ending of a relationship um, or even a family member uh, or something like that. I don't know. Let's get more clarity now. The hangman. So there's your energy, Pisces. So again, having this big wake up call as you kind of hung back about something here, really thought things through as we think things through there, thinking here in this hangman paused position, um, seeing all the perspectives of everything going on around you and coming to a realization here that um, it's time to look forward and move forward. Nine of Shields, so this is the Nine of Pentacles. So you should, could be newly single, um, this is being self-sufficient. This is being independent. This is being able to take care of yourself. Um, being very stable and abundant on your own, standing on your own two feet. So, you know, you may have overcome a heartbreaking situation here. It was very, very painful, but you're getting your balance. You, you, you're healing, you're moving forward, and you're very stable, secure on your own, and you really thought things through here with the hangman is right next to thinking things through, so. All right, so let's get uh, more energy for you. Let's get more energy around this for you. Uh, you could have, you know, Gemini, your chart, or maybe you have somebody here that has Gemini and Sagittarius heavily in their chart in some form. I just feel like the Nine of Pentacles is your energy. That's Earth energy of now just being very stable on your own, self-sufficient, independent. And we got three here. All right, let's see. So we have the uh, Emperor, which is Aries. We have Merlin, which is the Hermit. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Wow, so this is taking control, uh, emperor energy, emperor empress, taking control of your life, taking charge, um, and just taking the reins. And then the Merlin energy, hermit energy is again, sort of like the hangman energy, is doing that inner journey work, that inner healing, finding your way, finding your light. Um, finding your new journey, you know, really discovering what you truly want, desire, moving forward as you take control now, and now having wishes, dreams, hopes, happiness, joy. Um, I hope you're not drinking too much or indulging. This can be a card of overindulging, so you might want to um, take control of that, that if that's something that you're doing, and really do some healing and inner work here. Wow. Okay, so let's put this over here. 
let's get one more. So the Ace of Wands. So I saw this in the pre-shuffle. So this is a brand new beginning. So I feel like even though you've you've moved on from something and you're moving forward from something here and being very stable and grounded on your own and done your inner journey work here and uh, if you're overindulging that's something you may want to try to control with the Emperor here and the Nine of Cups, Nine of Cauldrons, that's your energy, water energy. Um, this also can mean, you know, joy and happiness, which is coming true. But this card here depicts somebody who's overindulged and is kind of passed out. So <laughs> if you're overindulging, you may need to take control of that here. Um, and this could be just, if it's not a relationship, this just could be overcoming an addiction or an obstacle in your life. Maybe there was something here that gave you a big wake-up call about some sort of addicting behavior and you thought about it long and hard and said, you know, I think I really need to take control of this, take charge of this, overcome this, do the healing inner journey work. You know, you saw things from a different perspective there with the hangman and with the three of swords that could be, you know, people that you've hurt, you know, around you because of this behavior. But you know, the Nine of Shields is someone now who is strong and stable and grounded. So, you know, you may have took, taken control over this situation and now you're ready for a brand new passionate beginning, new exciting endeavors um, moving forward. Just adventure in life, passionate and zest for life again. All right, so let's get some, some more energy here. So we have the Seven of Shields, Seven of Pentacles. So this is putting in the hard work. This is being very patient, you know, planting those seeds and being very, very patient with yourself. As with the Temperance energy is also about patience. Death, so we have Scorpio here. This is Earth energy here. So this is ending, an ending of something. It could be a relationship. It could be ending of ways, uh, putting the death onto something that was um, not for the best good of anyone and having a rebirth, a resurrection, a brand new start. In the tower. So again, and I had felt over here uh, when I said maybe, you know, you had some actions here that hurt some people. The tower came into my mind and here's the tower now. This is Aries energy as with Aries over here. So, you know, there could have been a lot of moments here where there was a big tower moments, big shakeups, um, things that caused things to really break down here. And it could have been your actions towards other people that really ca caused some disruptance and um, not great act activity here. You know, this is big shake up here with the tower energy. So I feel like, you know, you had this big boom, like lightning epiphany moment of all these tower moments that happen with you and other people, maybe because of this overindulging and realizing, you know, I need to work on myself, be patient with myself, end these ways, start anew so I can have this brand new passionate zest for life again in, in a whole new way. If it's not overcoming an obstacle, like an addiction or something like that. It could be just overcoming a torn up relationship here as you have the tower. It could be a fight argument here. It was very painful. All right, so let's get, uh, let's see, let's get more clarity on this. So the Druid, we have six here. So this is the lovers. Uh, so, you know, this could have once been a soulmate, uh, connection here for you or this is now you just really having uh, true alignment with yourself making that conscious choice to do what's best for you and those around you and knowing you needed needing to end this behavior in some way and making that conscious choice to um, just love yourself and heal yourself and be who you truly are or you could have somebody very supportive around you through this journey. Could be this Gemini. 
what else do we have here? The star. So here's your healing, Aquarius energy. So here's your healing, your balance, your uh, faith, hope, and optimism, being divinely guided um, energy here, wishes and dreams coming true, fulfillment. Yep, so some sort of wish fulfillment here. Um, you know, maybe you always hoped and dreamed and wished to straighten out or for some of you, and now you're finally doing it. And you're healed, very, you know, healed because of all these tower moments that really, really shook things up. Ending those ways, putting the hard work in, and having patience. All right, so let's get some advice for you huh? we got two that fell out here advice so wow so we have the king of shields and we have the six of wands so it's earth energy fire energy so this king of shields is somebody who is very stable sturdy grounded who does done their hard work who is very practical and smart and wise noble and trustworthy who's planted all those seeds of abundance and now has all this abundance of growth behind them. People go to them for advice. So your advice is to remain in this King of Shields energy of very strong and stable and grounded and practical and smart and wise. Because if you keep on moving forward in this positive energy now as looking and moving forward, you will be very successful here. So this is success, victory, accomplishment, receiving accolades. So being very, very successful, moving forward and staying in this very strong, grounded energy, healed energy, moving forward. Wow. All right, so let's get a few more on that. So we have, now we have the King and Queen of Shields, pen, of Pentacles. So again, same kind of energy. And that's double confirmation there. And we have the Knight of Cauldron. So that's your energy, water energy. So again, that's moving forward in a very loving, compassionate energy. Um, and just being in a more loving, compassionate energy with yourself and those around you now. No more, not causing any more tower moments. Now, just being in a very peaceful, loving, compassionate energy. All right, so let's see what your outcome will be. So... Oh, I thought we had the lovers over here. Oh, this is the Hierophant. I thought that was a six, it's five. So this is the Hierophant. So this is could be about marriage commitment. So I had said maybe this is a breakup of a marriage that you're overcoming and now standing very uh, confident because we do have counterparts here with the King and Queen of Pentacles. So... This is about commitment, marriage, faith, uh, faith, spirituality, doing what's moral, just, and right, um, and that kind of energy. So, and now we have, now we do have the lovers here. So, I mean, you could, could have mended things with this connection and starting over, or you're just moving on, and this is just confirmation with the counterparts here and the lovers that this once was a soulmate committed. Um, energy but you have a new beginning here you know the tower is just a breakdown of things and you have a single energy here so some of you I feel ha are now single and dependent was a lot of um, tower energy where there was a lot of <sighs> could be arguments fights just disagreements and that sort of energy but now you're moving forward uh, victoriously, whether it's on your own or like I said, for some of you, I'm getting kind of two mes messages here, overcoming some sort of personal obstacle, whether it was an addiction or just an illness of some kind or behavior that you just decide to change within yourself. All right, so, oh, actually this was your outcome. So. The lovers. So, yeah, you could, you know, mend things and work things out with this person. Or this, again, like I said, is you aligning with your true higher self, your soul purpose, your soul mission, who you truly are now in a more healed uh, energy. 
So let's get more clarity on that. So we have the Eight of Wands and the Ten of Wands. So this is, you know, moving on. The Eight of Wands is like moving on, but it's also movement, action, travel, communication, very fast paced. And then you have the Ten of Wands of laying down, burning. So this is fire energy here. And we had temperance over here, which is a fire sign. So the Ten of Wands is about being overburdened and um, Tens are about completion, laying down those burdens, ending of a cycle. And you could be just move, you know, moving forward on your own now and being in that single stable energy. Laying down the burdens, like I said, whether it was a personal obstacle, a relationship obstacle. For some of you, it's a relationship obstacle. Some of you, it's a personal obstacle within yourself that you've had to overcome here like I said either addiction or behavior or something like that so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the eight of shields the eight of pentacles earth energy so this is putting in the dedicated effort the hard work moving forward either on your own or working things out and just really working hard on your personal stability if it's something personal you had to overcome continually putting in that hard work and dedicated effort moving forward moving forward again moving forward looking forward the four swords again with the healing that's the ear energy here so again very healing energy um thinking contemplating as think things through and spending time alone retreating recuperating and healing as we have a lot of healing here also and now he has another brand new beginning. It's very stable, sturdy, and grounded. It's uh, practical. It's abundance, wealth, prosperity, a firm foundation, planting that seed and having this brand new beginning for a lifetime that's very stable. And this could just be you planting your seed in, I don't know, recovery is coming to mind and being just you know stable for the long term moving forward in some way, shape, or form. So yeah, Eight of Cauldrons, Eight of Cups. So walking away from past bad behavior that was no longer serving you. And also with the two eights here, could be just moving on from this relationship and off on your own. And then, so then we have Rebirth under here, which is um, Judgment, Scorpio Energy. So, you know, there could be, you know, just healing and forgiveness in these in this whatever situation you're in whether it was a relationship or whatever or other relationships you affected due to your behavior or whatever it was for you this is just uh, forgiveness um, I, some of you may be resurrection or a final judgment call this is the judgment card to just end things and walk away and be off on your own or some of you may be resurrecting this and working it out so it's different messages here um brand new beginning very stable grounded now a lot of healing and thinking contemplating and putting in the dedicated work and the hard uh, effort so you know a lot of different messages here some overcoming personal obstacles and just moving forward working hard and being very stable now or ending a relationship and moving forward on your own and being very stable and healing from that or healing this whole thing and having a rebirth and a res resurrection and a whole new of starting over in the same relationship so a lot of different messages here so however however resonates for you if you feel like you need to um, work things out then you follow your heart and you do what's best for you. If you feel like you need to walk away, again, follow your heart. And if you overcome something here, good for you. And stay in that uh, stable, positive mindset moving forward. Keep looking forward to the future. All right. So let's get some guidance for you, Pisces. And I just did the Gemini love reading um, a few days ago, and Pisces came out the Gemini in the love reading. So, okay, Gemini. What advice and guidance do we have for Gemini? 
first half of September, Spirit, please. Thank you. So there we go. All right. So we have submerged. So this is about uh, keeping things hidden, keeping things, you know, uh, submerged deep down inside and not dealing with these things that you need to deal with. So again, this could be a personal issue, obstacle within yourself that you've kept submerged and tried to keep hidden. It's deeply rooted. and But I feel like now for some of you, you're really healing from that here and unsubmerging yourself. All right, what else do we have? I think you've had a big wake up call now. I think the tower came in here to Look at this, and now we have a volcano, which is almost identical to the tower. So this volcano vitality, maybe this was you in, you know, a state that maybe you came violent in, or it made you like change your personality, whatever your obstacle was here. But these tower moments came in to melt down this submerged iceberg here, and make things come to the surface that needed to be deal dealed or dealed yeah dealt with and now we have ancient healing wisdom shaman so again the deep deep rooted healing of this that needed to melt down and be unsubmerged and come to the surface here and be healed ancient wisdom of healing here deep deep rooted healing here wow for some of you i really think it was a personal battle in some way shape or form that you really really had to go deep within and heal because you do have the hermit here the hangman the star a lot of deep deep temperance a lot of healing here so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck cave sanctuary so you know maybe again you tr you try to um retreat here and go off on your own so maybe you had to do that maybe you had to go to some sort of sanctuary place here where you could help to heal and mend and rebuild yourself in some way shape or form while you went through this deep healing whatever your situation was for you but I see you standing firmly standing on your own two feet being very very uh, stable now, very in a much healing energy, and moving forward to brand new beginnings with the wands and the pentacles, having that passion and zest for life again in a pure, innocent way now, and being very stable with that ace of pentacle. Um, right, was the ace of pentacles we had? Um, energy. Was it over here? Anyway, yep. Yeah. Okay, Pisces, a lot of energy for you here. So uh, however it resonates for you, if this doesn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for past readings. There may be something there for you. I would say disregard the dates. If you find a title resonates, I'd say watch it. Maybe something there. And if you do like my style, you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Um, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. And I think you have to hit all. But I just ask that if you do that and you don't like to get all the notifications for all the other signs that you just don't unsubscribe, you can just easily go in and uncheck, unclick that um, notification bell. You'll still be subscribed to me, which means you'd have to go into your subscriptions section and look for my readings there and find what you would like to watch. You would have to do it that way. So, uh, Pisces, good luck to you here in your situation. Keep going forward. Keep, keep in that healed, uh, positive, stable mindset. And sending you many light, love, and blessings and healing energy. And as I always, always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.